Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to start the cash stuffing method. So I get this video requested a lot and if you are new here on my channel, you're probably interested in learning the cash method. Some people don't know how to, you know, get started or where to really start. Um, if you are already subscribed and, you know, on your own journey, feel free to skip over this video. Um, this is basically for beginners, but I'm basically just going to show you in three simple steps how to start the cash stuffing method. It is very easy once you get the hang of it. Um, at first, I was confused as well. I didn't really know where to start, didn't know what to do. And to be honest, I just kind of like grabbed some envelopes and just made up things that weren't really worth my while. Um, and then I started to really break down like what exactly i did want to save for and things like that and then it got a lot easier so if you do want to learn how to start the cash stuffing method but don't really know how then just keep on watching all right so the first thing that i'm going to recommend you do um, before starting and like buying envelopes binders and things like that is to make a budget so you need to make a budget for yourself and i did uh, make one out in this little planner here just so you guys can understand what i'm talking about um, I made this little budget right here and I did make it a $3,000 a month budget because I feel like that's pretty low income and um, I just want to show everybody that you can still, you know, save money and things with a low income budget. So this is all just made up numbers. Um, I'm just trying to like show you guys what I'm talking about. So I put the monthly income at $3,000. So we're just going to say rent 700, cars 4 electric is 100 waters 50 groceries 300 miscellaneous 200 cell phone 80 insurance 200 and that leaves 970 dollars left over so once you create your budget um obviously you would you know tailor it to yourself and write down all your bills and things if you split with your partner or you split with roommates or anything like that obviously you can include you know just your portion uh, but once you create your budget, then you can plan out your cash envelopes and your sinking funds because you know how much you'll have left each month. So $970 is a pretty decent amount um, to have left over each month, even on a lower income of $3,000 a month. There's a lot you can save with $970 a month. And a lot of people don't even realize that just by going to fast food, going out, buying things that you're probably never going to wear, um, just wasting your money on things that really don't matter. It's very easy to, you know, be broke. So that's why people are like, I don't have any money left. I don't have this. I don't have that. I can't save. I don't make enough. I don't necessarily think that it's that you don't make enough. It's just people don't make the best decisions sometimes financially. And I get it. Life's short. You want to buy what you want. You want to splurge and things like that. But I feel like saving and you know making a better future for yourself is more important than like materialistic things wasting money on fast food you guys get the point so now that we realize we have 970 dollars left over we can break down our cash envelopes um so once again i just made up some categories here so you guys would know what i was talking about so i have kids so i just put kids down because i just thought of it as the first thing um so 20 dollars a week for your kids is 80 dollars a month Coffee, $10 a week times four is $40 a month. Shopping, $50 times four is $200 a month. Hygiene, 10 times four is $40 a month. And then I just put Amazon, $20 times four is $80 a month. Obviously, you'll have your own categories and things like that. Um, but that then leaves us with 400 and some change, I believe. Um, so then we would move on to our sinking funds. So I just put new house, $200, vacation, $150, and new car, $80. So once again, just examples. And once we subtract all of that from $970, it leaves us with $1,000. So I just put checking because you need to have, you know, some sort of buffer amount in your checking account in case you have auto draft, something pops up, there's always something. So um, I always, you know, tell everybody, make sure you have money in your checking account just, you know, to fall back on. Um, something that I personally do is when I get paid from YouTube, um, Etsy money, things like that, and I also usually have money left over from my paychecks, I just leave it all in my checking account and it's built up, you know, thousands at this point in my checking that I just use for whatever. Normally I just let it, you know, sit there, but if I ever need anything or if I need to fall back on it, I have it there. So you always want to have a buffer amount in your checking. So that's pretty much the hard part is 
breaking down your budget and you know figuring out what you want to stuff what cash envelopes you want and what sinking funds you need so i would say anything you want to save for your kids college a new house a new car just sit down and think of things that are important to you and break them up into categories cash envelopes are going to be what you use each week so things you spend money on weekly your kids of course a lot of people have coffee problems like myself um so i added coffee as one of my cash envelopes shopping some people love to shop you can still shop and have fun just do it on a budget um you know whatever you spend money on weekly you can really break it down and you know budget out for it if you like fast food and you like to eat out break down you know an envelope for that give yourself like fifty dollars a week if you know you need to that way you can keep track of like what you're spending um, and then as far as sinking funds go, some people have multiple binders. Some people have, you know, just one binder they use for sinking funds. Um, I have mine broken down into long and short term. Uh, my long term binder, as most of you guys know, is for my kids. Um, I do also have the butterfly binders on my Etsy shop linked down in the description down below. If you do want to purchase one of these, um, I do have some of these left. Um, but I basically just have my kids because they're a huge part of my life, of course, and I do want to save for them. Um, family time, I do a lot of family stuff, so I, you know, have an envelope for family time. My Etsy shop, I created that as a long-term, you know, um, envelope because that is something that I plan on doing long-term. Um, even though I'm not doing it, like, you know, full-time and crazy right now, I am going to go back eventually. Vacation, obviously we all need vacation, so that's an important envelope for me. Um, to save for my student loans that one is getting ready to come to an end thank god um investing that's something to save for long term and then our new house um that is something that you know i was saving for long term as well um and then i'll just break down my short term binder for you guys really quick just in case you need some ideas so amazon i love amazon love to shop um, i just you know really try to budget and you know make sure i'm not overspending shopping um clothes you know i use that for like my kids clothes and myself if i need things birthdays car maintenance christmas gifts and then my youtube giveaways um and then i just have like my 52 week savings challenge and my disney vacation so that's pretty much my little breakdown i'm not someone who wants to have like five or six binders it just causes me too much anxiety confusion and i just don't have time for it um some people have like literally cash stuff everything in their life down to like just stuff that i'm just like i can't even i couldn't even do that um but you know more power to you if you want a ton of binders i've seen people that have like a binder in every color um they never really have anything in all of the binders so i don't know if it's just like a like i don't know what the point of it is really but um all the people that i've seen with like multiple binders like five plus don't have stuff in all of the binders um i really don't think you need that many i think you just you know one or two will be good especially if you're just starting off um so step one is the budget step two is finding you know a binder planning out what you want to use um, for your envelopes for your sinking fund categories and things like that you can just make a column of cash envelopes sinking funds break it down long term short term midterm whatever you want to do um and go that way and then the third step is literally up to you it's going to be discipline it's going to be self-control and you know just taking control of your finances because at the end of the day you can budget you can write stuff out you can buy cute binders you can buy the envelopes but if you don't stick to your goal and really have some self-control it's all pointless so third step is just have self-control and be able to manage your money right and you know everything else will fall into place but a lot of people don't tell you discipline is a huge factor in saving money like you have to be disciplined you can't give in to urges you know you can't give in to like oh i just i don't care i want to go i'm just going to spend the money i'll make it back type of thing um you have to really be disciplined and that is my three steps to starting the cash envelope method um so like i said it's very simple very easy and all you have to do is just really sit down brainstorm figure out what you want to do and stick to it um so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys um today is tuesday i told you guys this video will be out on the 8th so 
I'm following my schedule this month and I'm pretty proud of myself because I have a lot going on you guys um but I'm trying to keep up I'm trying to stay afloat and yeah but oh my god I have to show you guys my new holiday tumbler from Starbucks you guys know I'm addicted to Starbucks tumblers I got that one and the gold one and I can't wait to get all my stuff out of storage because I'm gonna do like a video on all my Starbucks cups and I don't know it just brings me so much joy it's like the little things in life um but anyway so yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys are having a great week um and hopefully like I said this video helps you out if you do have any questions please feel free to leave a comment you guys know I always respond um you know as quick and to as many of you as I can but bear with me because I like I said have been busy lately so um yeah that's pretty much it for today I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you for Friday's cash stuffing bye